Welcome to the Namekwa land. Alright, so we've just arrived here at Klang Pillar campsite. We're going to group up with Henry and Lania. Uh, before we start the eco trail, so we're going to spend one night here. So we camped in under this big, beautiful tree. Just set up. Um, nice little bit of green lawns. It uh, seems to be a working farm more than a resort. Uh, apparently the rivers or well, the river is uh, quite high at the moment, so there's no campsites. There, so we have to camp here. So, yeah, we've set up. But as you can see, it's more of a working farm than anything else. They do have guest houses and rooms available. So, it'll be my first time walking into the bathroom. Let's have a look at its corn. Yeah, so. Yeah, seems to be clean. Right, I just want to take you through the quick setup here that we have for this trip. So currently I have the 150 watt uh, solar blanket from TRE. You can get it from Tasca. 4x4. And then we get to the, the vehicle over here. I have a, I think it's a 41 or 42 litre Snowmaster. In the back here, I'm using that as the deep freeze. Currently just giving a a charge, we have the draw system in the trailer, we've got a quite a Victron setup over here with a big lithium battery. We've got the big Snowmaster Traveler series, Traveler series, dual zone. And then yeah, we have the Conqueror. I don't have the l shape awning on, I think it's too much work for what it's actually worth. We have the quick pitch on the actual vehicle. Very happy with that product. Right, so we have our first casualty on this trip. I don't know what happened there, but it seems like the clip had broken off. It was holding the plug. And obviously it's public holiday and then we enter the park or the eco trail tomorrow. So I don't think we're going to be able to solve this problem until we get out. Um, probably going to try to fix it in Alexander Bay. Is there T-Rex in here? Yeah? yeah. There's a Spinosaurus and there's no Spinosaurus. So they can fight. So yeah, it seems to be these huge trees uh, with the nuts on them. So I'll find out exactly what it is and put it down in the, the comments. But it's amazing out here. It's a pillar. More of a village vibe than a, an actual town. So we're going to be having a look at the an old church here. So yeah, let's see if we can find it. So it says, Pila is close to the Orange River and is known for its fertile ground where dates are grown. The London Missionary Society founded the Pela village in 1814 and in 1878 the missionary station was taken over by the Roman Catholic Church. Two ministers using an encyclopedia as a reference built the Pela Cathedral. It is surrounded by date palm trees and hosts a convent, a mission and a museum. And you just you can arrange a visit. At the church. Jan Pella. Alright, so we're gonna exit the church and turn left. In about 200 meters, we'll turn left again. And then uh, we're gonna travel 700 meters and turn right onto Camille Strat, which will take us away from the town. And then about uh, three kilometers later, we'll start with uh, Charlie's Pass. So uh, this is Charlie's Pass over here, which is about four, four kilometers long and then a further 5.5 kilometers takes us onto the Orange River and then there's a city being water treatment plant there um, and then we'll turn around and then we'll come back via Canyon Pass 
which is this piece here. And then we'll take the sand road back to Plain Pella, which is where we left the caravans. So we've managed to find the, the Orange River and just on the other side of the river is Namibia. So busy deflating the tires now. Got the awning up. We almost got stuck a few times coming in to the thick sand and it's quite hot. Got Matthew throwing in the lure down there. Alright, so we've just left the river now. Uh, we're making our way back to Cape Pella. We're going to pack up camp and then we're off to the next campsite. Thanks for joining.